Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to create flexible layouts using autofill. Uh, the repeat function comes with an option called autofill. This allows you to automatically insert as many columns, as many rows or columns of your desired size as possible depending on the size of your container. You can create flexible layouts when combining autofill with min max like this. So we want to say repeat autofill min max 60 pixels at one friction. So the minimum is we're going to do autofill repeat as many times as you can fill with a min max of 60 and one fraction. Interesting, autofill. What does the autofill do? The repeat function comes with an option autofill. This allows you to automatically insert as many rows or columns of your desired size as possible depending on the size of the container. Oh, cool. So the container, this autofill will cause the container to react like that react with however many will sur survive. It'll make it so that there's always 60 pixels in there. And then if, it, if, it's not doing, if it's not doing a column 60 pixels wide, it'll make a fraction. And so now I'm just gonna read what the, it says. When the container changes size, the setup keeps inserting 60 pixel columns and stretching them until it can insert another one. If your container can't fit all of your items in one row, it will move them down to a new one. In the first grid, use autofill with repeat to fill the grid with columns that have a minimum width of 60 pixels and a maximum of one fraction. And then resize the preview to see the autofill in action. Okay, great. So I'm, again, I'm just gonna type underneath here for now. I'm just gonna go grid template columns. And then I'm going to say, In the first grid, use autofill. In the first grid, use autofill with repeat. Repeat, autofill with a minimum width, so min max of uh, 60 pixels and then one fraction. Okay, and now I can get rid of this original one and I hope this works. Cool, looks like I got it wrong. Container class should have a grid template columns, grid template columns property that with repeat. And auto, oh look, auto dash fill. Nice. Container. Container two, okay, so here's container one and here's container two. Container one is this guy and container two is this guy. Container two is the one that we set up here and container one is, oh, no, container one is the one that we just wrote this uh, grid column templates. And container two has a repeat of three with a min max of 60 pixels at one fraction. So this one and that one, hmm. Okay, yeah, this one, so our container two is not using autofill, that's the difference. Whereas, but they have the exact same amount. So we can see the difference. This is with autofill and this is without. And so now if I shrink this down, you'll see that as we get closer, as soon as those box get within 60 pixels, they'll, they start filling down. And so that's how that works. But when it gets really big, they keep at one fraction, interesting. It must keep at the a fraction of the, yeah, of display the grid, font size, grid gap 10, grid template rows. Okay, so the rows are one fraction, one fraction, one fraction. Hmm. Okay, so the rows are staying at that one third, but then the autofill, the min max, so it's gotta be 60 pixels. And then they're each at one fraction, so I don't understand why they don't fill the page at this size. Let's see if I get it right when we run the tests. Interesting. Well, it's pretty cool to be able to see the way that it uh, rolls down like that. I wonder what happens. And when it gets really low, it pushes the whole thing down. And so that's what they mean when they say resize the preview to see the autofill in action. That just means resizing this guy. Uh, anyways, that's the uh, right answer. So I hope this helps you guys, and we'll see you in the next lesson.